Hello there, Arnold from Creation Notes. In this video, I'm going to highlight the usefulness of the image info extension and how you can use it inside Quark Express. So as its name implies, its purpose is to give you information about a selected image inside your project and a couple of other actions I will demonstrate also. So let's pretend you have installed the extension and dragged it inside the extension folder you can access the image info palette from windows and image info there you have it or you can access it from the right sidebar okay so let's create an image content okay and import an image can live with that once you select the image the image info displays the name of your file its format the color space that is used what layer it is in so let's create a new layer and call it image layer now create a new image content okay let's make this one very small so as you can see now layer displays image layer okay so you have info about the layer that your image is in um, the status, the location of your file, its size, its dimension, the page has been created, and the page it's on. Okay, so now let's talk about these three buttons up here. So this first one is called Relink. This button is used when you want to change the image to some other image. Let's try that. Okay. With this feature, you don't have to delete your image or import a new one. Pretty straightforward. Even more straightforward is the show image inside Finder. There it is. Next one is edit button. And this is going to open your image inside the default uh, image editor you have set on your system. So for me, it's preview. Okay, save it. Now you can see there is two new buttons, an update button and this little uh, disclaimer icon say that the image actually has been edited. Just with a click of a button, you click refresh and you have your new image. Another case scenario is that you have your image being accidentally deleted this is the image. So if I put it in the trash, you can see this other signal saying that the image actually got deleted. And refreshing is going to ask you to add a new image or locate your image if you put it back. So that's about it. This is a new creation notes extension and it's called Image Info which is quite useful if you have to handle a lot of images inside your projects. Thank you for watching and see you next time.